Natalia squeezes her eyes shut, body tense as the open blade glides over her naked scalp. You've already shamed me enough with this brutal cut. Isn't that enough for you? She questions through gritted teeth. Victor shakes his head. I want perfection, not a single hair left. Antonio gingerly stretches Natalia's ear taut, shaving the wispy remnants around it. She digs her nails into the chair arms as her head is laid completely bare. The watching crowd seems uneasy now, shifting in discomfort as Natalia is stripped of the last vestiges of her dignity under the scraping razor. All done, Antonio says softly, wiping the remaining shaving cream from Natalia's head. She opens her eyes, immediately bursting into tears at her alien reflection. Victor tilts her chin up once more. Let this be a lesson to you, he states coldly. Natalia only nods silently, hair and spirit severed by his cruel vengeance. Victor slaps some money on the counter and strides for the door, leaving his destroyed wife bare and small in the chair. Come along now. Natalia follows obediently, a shell of her former self. She keeps her shorn head down as they exit the barbershop, trying to avoid the judgmental stares of patrons. The gleaming town car waits at the curb again. Natalia hesitates before getting in. Well, go on, Victor snaps impatiently. What happens now? Natalia asks hoarsely, one hand reaching up to touch her naked scalp. The smooth skin still feels foreign under her fingertips. Victor shrugs. Now we go home so you can get used to your new look. Natalia swallows hard. And, and after that? She dreads returning to their cold, broken marriage and life as Victor's diminished prisoner. Victor pauses, for a moment looking unsure himself. That remains to be seen, he mutters, glancing away. The driver opens the door. Natalia ducks inside, once again watching her shorn reflection in the tinted windows as they pull on to the city streets. Neither speaks as the car wins its way back up to their tower Penthusi. Natalia realizes with sorrow that things will never be the same between them again. The car stops outside their building. Get out, Victor commands coldly. Natalia complies. In the elevator, Victor stands rigidly, not looking at his shorn wife. You brought this disgrace upon yourself, he states. Yes, Victor, Natalia replies meekly. Don't think I won't do worse if you defy me again. Victor's tone brokers no argument. I understand, Natalia says, head still bowed submissively. The elevator doors open to their marble foyer. Go get cleaned up. Victor orders. Natalia rushes to obey, feeling more like a servant than a wife. She stares at her strange reflection in their grand bathroom, Victor's power over her now complete. Later, Victor summons Natalia to the study. He sits like a king holding court, imposing and severe. Natalia enters timidly. You belong to me. Victor's words hang in the air like a guillotine. Do exactly as I say, and you'll keep what remains of your comforts. Yes, Victor. Natalia's response is automatic. She is his subject now, her will crushed by his cruel vengeance. Victor waves a dismissive hand. Natalia retreats, escorted by his silent influence even out of the room. Things will never be the same. At breakfast the next morning, Victor lowers his newspaper and gazes coldly at his wife. You will not be returning to work. Natalia pauses, teacup halfway to her mouth. What? But I've put years into my career. Victor slams his fist on the table, making her jump. You no longer have need of employment. From now on, your place is here. Eyes downcast, Natalia nods silently. She pushes away her uneaten food, appetite vanished. Over the next few days, Victor establishes complete dominion over Natalia's life. 
He can sell her credit cards, sells her car, demands access to her phone. Natalia's world narrows to the walls of their penthouse. She obeys Victor's commons, keeping her shorn head lowered demurely. His robbery of her hair signaled her transformation into a submissive captive. At times, Natalia gazes mournfully out the soaring windows at the city below, missing her vibrant life. But she doesn't dare disobey Victor's wishes ever again. When he bark orders, she asks only, Yes, Victor? Her spirit diminishes further each day under his total authority. She is no longer a wife or partner, merely Victor's possession. Months pass in this dreary fashion. Natalia drifts through the days like a ghost, conditioned to obey Victor's every whim. One morning at breakfast, Victor peers closely at Natalia's shorn head. Your hair has grown out. His tone brims with disapproval. Natalia's hand flies to her head, feeling the soft fuzz covering her scalp. I... I suppose it has, she stammers. Victor's face darkens. This won't do. The flat top must be maintained. Cold fear seizes Natalia's heart. Please, not another haircut, she whispers desperately. But Victor is resolute. Tomorrow I am taking you back to Antonio's. Your punishment must be reinforced. That night, Natalia twists and turns, dreading the next day. Morning comes too soon. Natalia begs and pleads with Victor as he fastens her cape. Please, don't make me do this again. Haven't you punished me enough? Victor shakes his head, a severe expression on his face. Your penance is not over. Now get in the car. During the drive, Natalia tries once more to change his mind. Think about how much you loved my long hair. Doesn't seeing it shorn away bother you? It was your deceit that bothered me, not your locks, Victor replies coldly. You brought this on yourself. The barbershop looms ahead. Natalia's kneels tremble as Victor firmly guides her back inside. Antonio looks surprised to see them. My wife's hair has unfortunately grown out some, Victor explains. Do us the favor of correcting that. Natalia squirms as she's fastened in the chair once more. Please, sir, you don't have to do this, she appeals to Antonio. But the barber remains silent. The ominous buzz of the clippers fills the air. Natalia squeezes her eyes shut as they make harsh contact with her temple, shearing away the soft, regrown locks. Why are you doing this, Victor? Natalia cries as her hair starts falling. Haven't I suffered enough for one mistake? Victor watches with arms crossed, unmoved. Mistakes have consequences. You'll keep paying for yours. The once familiar smell of shorn hair surrounds Natalia as her grown-out mane is steadily stripped away. She looks at her husband beseechingly, but his eyes are cold stone. Please, stop this madness. I've learned my lesson, Natalia sobs but the clippers continue their relentless march across her scalp, deaf to her distress. Soon, all traces of fuzz are gone. Antonio passes a straight razor over Natalia's head, erasing the last remnants of regrowth. She sits diminished, femininity stolen from her once again. Let's go, Victor states abruptly after paying. Natalia follows him out to the car, scalp burning under the midday sun. To her surprise, Victor does not head home, but drives downtown to an upscale boutique. He leads Natalia inside, handing her a pile of clothes. Go try these on, he orders. Natalia obeys, entering the fitting room with trembling hands. The clothes he's picked are incredibly revealing. Tiny spandex shorts and a sheer halter top. Natalia hesitantly changes into them, feeling exposed. Victor surveys her critically when she shyly steps out. Hmm, needs something more. 
he selects a dog collar from a display, fastening it around her neck. There, now you look the part, he proclaims. Natalia flushes, avoiding her reflection's gaze. The skimpy outfit highlights her shorn head, compounding her shame. At the register, the cashier gives them a judging look. Victor pays no mind, handing over his card. You'll wear this at home from now on, he informs Natalia. Utterly mortified but powerless to refuse, Natalia chokes back tears on the drive home. Victor has stripped away the final shreds of her dignity, parading his possession. <laughs>